um, when I started, we were just a team of um, four or five people, and we didn't really have kind of these these pieces of paper on the wall telling us what our four-year strategy was going to be or one-year strategy was going to be. So the thing we really focused on was what would help authors be successful, and that really is what drove us for, for a very long time. Um, and it's crazy sitting here looking back. I wholeheartedly believe that we've made the world a better place. Fifteen years ago, we couldn't have known that we would be helping over a million researchers publish over 650,000 papers, people from all over the place, 190 different countries. This team has a lot to be proud of. I feel incredibly lucky to work with some of the hardest working and most intelligent people I have ever met. Uh, they care more about our group of customers than anyone I've ever worked with in the past. And I think a lot of that is because they can put themselves exactly in the customer's shoes. They've applied to grad school, they've done research, they've sat through those graduate courses, they've tried to publish papers and succeeded and failed. They've applied for grants and received them or not received them. Um, they understand the experiences and challenges that our customers have, and as a result, they give their all when they're helping customers resolve those problems themselves. I've been with AJE for 10 years, and in that time, along with my colleagues, I've helped thousands of researchers get their work past the barriers that impede their research from getting published in English language journals. I especially enjoy helping others communicate their results effectively, whether it's by editing their work directly or by providing webinars and workshops on English-related issues. Now, as a cancer survivor, I'm especially happy whenever I read one of our customers' works on gene-targeted therapy or other advances in cancer research. I'm proud to have been with AJE in their first 15 years, and I'm looking forward to the impact we'll make in the next 15. Fifteen years ago, I don't know that we knew exactly what we're doing, just that what we needed to do was to help authors.